In this video, we're going to look at an issue that comes up when you export an FBX object and find that its location does not match your scene in 3D Studio Max. So normally when you export an FBX, the position of the objects will all be exactly the same as they were in 3D Studio Max. But if you've ever moved the pivot on an object, like in the case of a door or in this rotating needle, originally the pivot point when I created the needle was up here in the center of the needle and I offset it. You'll find that when you export an object like this as an FBX and import it into Scene Composer, you'll discover a bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and bring that in. We'll import the FBX. And let's bring in just the needle. And we'll drop it on our 3D scene. And you can see the issue. Where is the needle? It's back there. It's behind the uh, gauge face. So it's, it's all out of whack. Now fortunately it's pretty easy to correct this. So what you do is in 3D Studio Max you come over here and you reset the X form. And that removes the offset history and allows the object to be exported correctly. So we reset the X form on this needle. So now we're just going to go ahead and export it. I better do export selected or I'll export the whole scene. So let's export the needle and we'll come back over here to Scene Composer and we'll re-import and see if that corrects the issue. Switch back to scene view and you can see now the needle is right where we would expect it. So that's how you correct that issue. It comes up a lot on things like car doors, anywhere you've offset the pivot, but as you can see it's pretty easy to correct and if you experience it you'll know you'll now know how to correct it yourself.